I'll now perform a classic Christmas carol, Jingle Bells. <laughs> G scale. concepts learned in our honors physics class this year. First off, we used a metronome slash tuner to determine the frequency that our tubes played. They are surprisingly close to the accepted frequencies from the scientific and musical communities. Up next, we calculate the wavelength of our instrument. We found the speed of sound in 72 degree Fahrenheit air to be 344 meters per second. We used the formula wavelength equals velocity over frequency to calculate the wavelength of all of our notes. We will now discuss some of the fundamental concepts behind what makes our instrument make music. The pitch of our instrument is determined by the length of each tube. The shorter the tube, the shorter the wavelength, and the higher the frequency and pitch. The longer the tube, the longer the wavelength, and the lower the frequency in the pitches. The fundamental frequency of our instrument is the lowest frequency at which each individual tube will vibrate. The natural frequency of each tube is caused by the resonance within each tube. The resonance is caused by the physical features of the tube which make it vibrate in certain ways. This contributes to the natural frequency and also the force vibrations. The force vibrations are the vibrations that come from the tube and cause other objects with the same natural frequency to vibrate. The harmonics of our instrument are produced by the multitude of waves emanating throughout the tube when a note is played. These waves combine to form the overall pitch, tone, and sound that you hear when we play our instrument. Mm-hmm. 